Steve Kim with UCN Live here with Sergey Kovalev, the light heavyweight champion of the world. Sergey, you take on Najib Mohamedi, July 25th. Be honest as you can. How much do you know about Mohamedi? Uh, believe me, not a lot. I know about <laughs> Mohamedi. I, I know just uh, that he's number one in IBF uh, contender and that he should to fight a couple fights. Mm -hmm. I go for the, this fight, you know, for world championship against uh, Bernard Hopkins. But that we made the fight, uh, Bernard Hopkins Kovalev, it's like uh, leave it for late. And uh, after this uh, fight, Pascal Kovalev, and right now, fight mm -hmm. is coming up. Uh, I just saw a couple, couple fights here uh, against Duchenko, against. Um, um, cleverly mm -hmm. on, on, on the internet, and uh, he's very, uh, he's very hyper. Mm -hmm. He's fast. He has a speeding. He's uh, he's not stupid boxer. Mm -hmm. He's thinking what, what what should to do, you know, like and uh, counting something uh, in his head. But my goal to hit his head and broke <laughs> yes, and broke his plan. <laughs> Sergey, your last two fights were very, very big fights. Uh, Bernard Hopkins and Jean Pascal. Has it been difficult to get motivated for a Mohammedi based on the fact your last two fights were so significant? I still focused uh, for the, my next fight. Sure, uh, I, I don't care who is my opponent uh, because uh, price of the fight very high. You know, mm -hmm. like because again. Three titles on, on, on the fight, mm -hmm. you know, like, and I'm not gonna to lose it. And uh, my goal to save it and save it uh, to show beautiful boxing. Speaking of which, against Bernard Hopkins, you tamed him with your jab. Pascal had a lot more fireworks. Which victory in your mind was more meaningful? Which one was more difficult for you out of those two? Against Bernard? Bernard or Pascal? Which victory was more meaningful for you? Which one was more difficult in your mind? Uh, you know, I, I, about last fight, it's like I don't have a, a reason to speak about it because uh, I was uh, ready maybe for f like 80% for this fight. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, there was some wrongs, uh, some mistakes in my training camp, but what I did about uh, for the fight against Bernard Hopkins, it was completely focused, different, you know, like and uh, everything. Uh, what is main of all mm -hmm. is like you need to have a concentration mm -hmm. for the, your preparation, for your preparation, and for your next opponent, because opponent also making shape right now. Even uh, maybe even same time as uh, I speak, you know, mm -hmm. maybe he's making more. But I thinking about uh, about it uh, all time and remember that uh, everybody wants to get all my titles, you know. Adonis Stevenson is still out there. Are you satisfied with the direction and the decision made by main events uh, because of the politics and the business? Are you satisfied in your place, and do you still have that yearning to fight Adonis Stevenson? Sure, I want to fight against uh, uh, Stevenson, but not as the most fight personally as a Stevenson. I want to fight for unification fight WBC, you know, because I understand uh, that Stevenson, maybe he cannot, maybe he doesn't want, maybe something different, mm -hmm. but this fight, how we see, difficult to make. Mm -hmm. But we'll see in the future what will happen. Uh, I keep going with my hope mm -hmm. to get this fight, uh, unification fight for all four uh, mm -hmm. titles. It's my goal yet, right now. Do you think the fight will ever happen? I think so, yeah, because <laughs> Katie Dua works for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kathy's on the job. Final question. Uh, Andre Ward, that fight's been talked about. Kathy said that there have been initial discussions. What are your uh, impressions of a possible fight with Andre Ward down the line, maybe early next spring? Uh, I already said uh, about 
I'm open it for any fight, you know. If this fight interesting for the people, for the boxing world, and uh, this fight can be happen. Mm -hmm. I will be happy to fight Andre Ward. He's Olympic champion. He's very uh, dangerous fighter, you mm -hmm. know, like he's winner, super six. He has a big experience, you know, and I want to get uh, some experience for the, from the fight against him. How much do you think your experience against Bernard Hopkins will help you against Andre Ward? You know, I believed in myself m much more, uh, first of all, and the second, uh, I got, uh, I got to uh, like, uh, have a passion. Mm -hmm. Patience is, uh, he had a passion in my fight. Mm -hmm. I punch how uh, hard uh, how I can, you know, mm -hmm. But but I won a score decision, mm -hmm. and it's a big respect to Bernard Hopkins because his patience really were really tough. Okay, and there it is, Sergey Kovalev, July 25th takes on Najib Mohammedi. This is Steve Kim for UCN Live.